My name is Burak, Burak Özcan, uh, from Jamtek company from Turkey. Uh, my subject today is about uh, uh, food security, the importance of cold chain in food security. It's a very important subject because we all consume food and the food must be very secure. So I will show you the ways of how to obtain food security. Uh, I start what we are doing. We are a turnkey food storage and processing uh, facility. Uh, first producer and second installation maker. Uh, we can call ourselves a food security provider. We are working for 20, uh, 31 years in more than 75 countries, and we realized more than 15,000 projects worldwide. Okay, food is the basic need for everyone. We, have, we all have to consume food. But in developed countries, Food is not a problem. Access to food is not a problem. But in less developed countries, unfortunately, it is still a problem. I will give you an example. For example, Senegal. You all know Senegal. Senegal is a very good country in terms of onion production. But they have a big lack of storage. And unfortunately, in the first, during the first month after the uh, harvest period, they can find onion with good prices. But when the onion is finished at the end of the first month, in the second month they cannot find the onion, and the onion price goes very high. And what they do? Unfortunately, they uh, import from Netherlands. But if they can store their onion in good conditions, they can first feed their people, and then they can sell to different countries. They can export to different countries their onion. So people can reach affordable, with affordable prices, in good quality, good hygienic conditions. And the solution is simple. How to make these Senegalian people to win to gain with their own resources, it's food security. The food security means having access, continuous access to food with affordable prices and hygienic conditions. And this, this can be done with, of course, cold storage. Uh, imagine that wherever you live, you can easily access to each food that you want to eat. You are in... You, you live wherever in the world. It, it's, it's, it's a very good thing. You all know that the price fluctuation sometimes, in some periods, is very high. And this is a very good thing for all the humans, especially people from African countries, to have access to food whenever they want. And the formula is food security. But how we can obtain the food security? This is the question. Making production is not enough. We have to store that production, that food, in good conditions. And we have to uh, make processing for, in order to add value to this. Uh, food. So, food storage and food processing, the major keys for food security. The secret behind the developed countries. Can you tell me which country is more developed in terms of food security? Do you have ideas? It Italy. India. I will show you by, with numbers, uh, especially European countries, Netherlands, Germany, France, United States. Uh, because 
these countries, they resolved a very important problem, the infrastructure for cold storage. They don't have any problem because they have enough cold storage area to keep the food fresh for a long time. So to give the food when there is a demand, the supply and demand, they are very in equilibrium. Okay, this is, these are the numbers. These numbers represent uh, how much people share one meter cube of cold storage area. Okay? As you can see, in Netherlands, one meter cube cold storage area is shared only by one people. One person, one meter square area, meter cube area. In Denmark, it's two. In Germany, three. They are very good numbers. France, four. Turkey, my country, 11. But if you go to Morocco, South Africa, Tanzania, Niger, African countries, you can see the figures. Nigeria is the king. A a approximately 20,000 people sharing one meter square, uh, meter cube, sorry. So we can easily say that they need food uh, security. As you can see, you all have refrigerators at home, I think. You open them and you look what you are storing. Each and every food that you see in your refrigerator should pass through a cold change process. So this number represents how much uh, of the, how many foods should go through cold change process. It's 70% of the total food. So it's a very huge number. Dairy products, vegetable, fruits, meat, chicken, they always, they all need food storage. And if you don't have food storage, enough food storage, this is another figure. You can, you will always keep on wasting one over five apples produced in the world. It represents 15 million tons, which is 30 billion US dollar. We are throwing to the rubbish for apple in, because of the lack of cold storage, unfortunately. And you know, when you build the cold storage area, a good modern cold storage area, the cost of storing one kilo of apple is just one cent per year. One kilo apple, one cent. The electricity cost. It's very low. It's very, very low. The only thing is making the investment. And each and every kind of food needs different cold storage techniques. If you obey the techniques, you can store, for example, I gave you an example of onion. You can store the onion 10 months as fresh as first day. Imagine the Senegal. If they have enough cold storage area, they, can, they will be able to store the onion for 10 months. They will be able to sell to different countries. They will be able to, to provide good onion any time of the year with good uh, prices and good quality to their people. <clears throat> and if you don't have cold storage areas, as you can see in the red line, the price, harvest time, goes very down, and then there is no onion, what happens in the market? The prices are going up and then goes to black market. So if you have cold storage, your price will be the blue one. Same each and every year. This is the most important thing about food, keeping the price affordable and straight. No fluctuation. This is, called, this is food security. And if you have, if the food prices are stable and if you have continuous access to heavy food, the hero behind it is you have good cold storage areas. <clears throat> the producers win. The customers, consumers win because they can find 
good, good food. And the governments also win because they can provide good food for everyone. The food is the most important political issue. And the governments should, should see the food security infrastructure as other infrastructures like roads, like uh, water, like electricity. If they, are, uh, if, if they are conscious about that food security idea, they will think, they will invest in cold storage warehouses like they invest in electricity. And that's why uh, Netherlands is the number one, because the government supports. Germany government supports, and Nigerian government doesn't support. This is the unique thing. It's a social and economic issue. The, 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 another point is the processing. Do you know how to make money with food? Okay, storing is good. You can store. When there is production of apple in November, the harvesting time, you can store it as fresh as first day. During one year, you can store it, and you can sell it in May. This is one way of gaining money. Okay? The other way, you can produce mango in Ghana, and then you can sell it in, in here, in Germany. Another way to gain, selling in a different place than production. And the third is to change the nature of the food. Producing milk and selling yogurt. This is, this, there are the third, three ways of gaining money with food. And for all of them, you need cold storage. The more you are involved in the cold storage, in the, in the trade of food, the more you gain. The price of apple, two euros, uh, two dollars. Nowadays, they are the same. Two dollars. If you sell the apple in the field, in the production area, you will gain 30 cents, 40 cents, not two euros, two dollars. In order to gain two dollars as a producer, as a producer, in order to gain two dollars, you have to first make the production and say, okay, I don't sell because I have a cold storage. I will wait until the apple gains more value. I will wait. And then, oh, I, oh in order to sell to two, to two dollars, I can maybe dry the apple. So value adding, making processing. And then you can make by yourself the trading and you will gain too much money. You, you know, for example, um, freeze dry machines, freeze dry technology. If you make the freeze drying to an apple, you can get 100 times, you can earn 100 times more money by doing freeze dry. And I will finish my words with a solution that we have developed for a total food security. We call it food centers. As you can see there, two parts. Upstairs, it's food storage. Down, up, there is food storage, and down there is food processing areas. They are combined together. This is a project that we developed for African countries, especially for governments, for municipalities, where there is an entry of product, for example, fish. The fish is coming by trucks. In the first section, you clean the fish, you make fillets, you uh, freeze the fish, and you store the fish up in the cold storage area. So you, have, you always use the resources in the most efficient way. OK, this is our motto. As I told you, we are always running after the fact that all the producers in the world should be awarded by their efforts, and all the regions, all the countries should, they, should use their own food resources in the most efficient way. Okay, thank you. We are in the, uh, this hall. 
just there, number 417. We are, uh, you are always welcome to discuss in more details what we are doing. If you have questions, I can answer them. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot.